Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Puppy Playtime character concept series. So for our next chapter, we'll be looking into the story arc of the Joyful Critters. And the first character we've created is called Fun Fox. So we'll go into this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe to GameTube as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well without any further delay, let's get into the character concept of Fun Fox. Throughout the years, Playtime Co. has created many wonderful toys for children of all ages. The company has seen great success with their multiple toy lines. But one toy line that proved to be the most successful was none other than the Smiling Critters. And the most popular character out of the bunch was Catnap. But as popular as he was, this sleepy little cat also caused the company a great deal of problems. Due to a defect in his sleepy lavender scent, he was eventually recalled. But this recall issue would cause much more problems than Playtime Co. would have ever guessed. Ever since Catnap's recall, sales for the remaining Smiling Critters dropped rapidly. This was due to parents' concerns about the other characters having the same nightmare defect as well. Although all the other characters were nightmare free, everyone still had their suspicions. So with this rapid decline in sales, something needed to be done. Playtime Co. needed to come up with a solution, and fast. And this solution was a brand new line of critters. This new and improved line of toys was simply known as the Joyful Critters. The Joyful Critters would be an entire new toy line of animal characters. There were quite a few changes with these models, and most were considered an improvement. The first change was removing the zipper and the internal spray canister. This would effectively remove any doubt of the troublesome nightmare spray and its harmful chemicals. Instead, the Joyful Critters have their scent infused into their fabric. But one thing that remained was the emblem. These emblems are placed around the critter's neck, and instead of being an object or an element, they were instead an emotion. These could range from happy, to sad, to angry. Each emblem would be a different emotion for each character. Speaking of characters, let's meet the first Joyful Critter. So for our first critter, we have Fun Fox. Fun Fox is a bright red coloured Joyful Critter who is based off the specific animal, the Fennec Fox. Hence the name, their special emotion emblem is Excitement. Fun Fox. Fun, fun, fun. Whenever he's around, the fun times never stop. He's the life of the party, and the fun has just begun. Scent, Strawberry. So considering the Joyful Critters are the new Smiling Critters, each character is essentially an improved version of the original ones. And Fun Fox is the improved version of Catnap. He was much more advanced in every way. All the Joyful Critters could move, gesture, and communicate with their owner. The public had no idea how these toys could be so advanced. Some chalked it up to them having sophisticated microchips embedded in their bodies. But really, we all know the unfortunate truth on how they could make them feel so lifelike and alive. The souls of the orphans were sacrificed in order to make this new range of advanced critters. How this process would work is one critter would receive the orphan's soul, and then they would have their trapped soul copied and grafted onto the toy versions of themselves. Each toy would only be a small fragment of that conscious soul. So day after day, the main joyful critter would sit there and slowly fade away. But this couldn't last forever. Eventually, they all couldn't stand it anymore. And Fun Fox and the others fought back against the researchers. Now, these crazed and tortured critters lurk inside the halls of the Playtime Co. factory. They've all grown to hate the Playtime Co. workers, and if they ever saw one again, they would attack on sight. Especially Fun Fox. His hatred towards the ones who wronged him was by far the strongest of them all. And who gets in his way wouldn't live to see it the next day. So now we return back to our main protagonist. After wandering the halls of the Playtime Co. factory, they find themselves in yet another new area. And this area was known as the Transferal Facility. This special facility was locked off to any of the average Playtime Co. workers. It was highly secretive and secure. Hence this name, this was the area where the soul transferals happened for the Joyful Critters. It was quite ironic seeing that this place was far from joyful. But now that it's abandoned, it isn't a secret anymore. 
The doors were wide open and they just wandered right in. Maybe they could find Poppy in this area. There was only one way to find out for sure. As the player looks around this area, it gave them quite an uneasy feeling. There wasn't anything too out of the ordinary, but they just knew something truly horrible happened here. As they look ahead, they see something even more horrible. Out of the darkness of a hallway, two eyes stare back at them. The player can't make out what it is in the darkness. But as their eyes adjust, they see what it truly is. It was just a decoy. Who on earth would have tied that toy to a pole and placed it in the darkness? Suddenly, before the player can make sense of this, a set of razor sharp claws swings down behind them. They quickly dodge the attack and turn around to face whoever it was. Standing there in front of the player was Fun Fox. His razor sharp claws are ready to tear the player apart. But before he could strike again, the player has already made a break for it. They find themselves running down a long corridor with multiple doors. Every time they reach a set of doors, they need to open them with the blue hand. And when they open one door, they need to make sure they shut the other one behind them. Each time they shut them, it'll slow down Fun Fox. But eventually, he'd open the door himself. It seems he bypassed the lock and disconnected the wires. How is that even possible? It seems that these joyful critters are truly more intelligent and advanced than the other toys at the factory. So quickly, door by door, the player makes it through to get away from Fun Fox. Eventually, they make it through the last door and come to an open area. Now was their chance to find somewhere safe to get away from Fun Fox. Luckily enough, the player locates a security breach room. They rush through the door and lock it behind them. These special security breach rooms were a special measure that the Playtime Co. researchers took when dealing with the toys. They knew what they were capable of and didn't want to take any chances. Each security breach room has an inbuilt failsafe. If an area had been breached or was deemed far too dangerous, they could clear it out by activating the purification sequence. This would ignite the area with fire and eliminate any threat that was in the vicinity. Sadly, it would destroy all the research and equipment, but it was worth it to contain those deadly toys. It wasn't long before Fun Fox appeared at the glass window. Although it was bulletproof, he could easily pick the lock to the door with his sharp claws. But he quickly realized what the player was about to do. He could hear the hissing of the flammable gas as it slowly fills the room. It wouldn't be long before it reached the point of ignition. And then he'd be toast. He wasn't willing to call the player's bluff. So he escaped this area before they could ignite the gas. It seems like their plan has worked. They'd gotten rid of Fun Fox for the time being. But being such a cunning fox, he was sure to be back before they knew it. But now the player exits out the back of the security room and continues through this facility. And as to who they'll meet next is uncertain. And until then, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Fun Fox would be a great character to start off this new chapter. I think the idea for new and improved critters would be interesting to see. The fact that they are smarter and more advanced would be quite intimidating for the player as well. Fun Fox will be lurking around and hunting down the player throughout this area. They need to be careful and watch out for him, because if they aren't paying attention, Fun Fox's claws would be the last thing they'll ever see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of Fun Fox and might like to see going forward. As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching and supporting this channel, and until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.